Hurricane Coverage with John Zarella on my radar. Hi, I'm John Zarella in Cocoa Beach. We're seeing a little bit of the weather deteriorating today. Some rain showers moving in, a little bit of squally weather, but that has not deterred people from coming down to the beach to watch the surf. You just see what the surf is like. The kids want to experience, you know, the, the, the atmosphere. They're excited. They're shy back there. They're just hiding back there. But yeah. What about, were you guys here a couple years ago for Irma? Yes, we were here for uh, Irma and Matthew. And Matthew. Matthew was the main one that was supposed to land over here. Uh, we, we watched the radars wobbling a little bit, shifting northeast. We decided to stay. A lot of our friends, they went out out of town. So are you comfortable? Are you staying this time or are you moving out? We're, we're still monitoring. I think we're going to stay. There's a 30% chance that we're going to be uh, leaving. 70% chance of staying. So so you're pretty comfortable, at least at this point, that the storm's going to stay offshore? Uh, you're never truly comfortable, but you, you pretty much wish that it does stay offshore. So how long will you monitor it before you, uh, you make a decision? So we're thinking possibly either tomorrow morning or mid-afternoon before we decide whether or not we're going to stay here or head over towards the west coast. All the way over to the west coast? Yeah, we're, we're not going to try to go n uh, north. <laughs> if you go north, that thing is still following you, right? Yep. But I just hope it doesn't boomerang. If it does go up north and then cuts back in, I think, was it Hurricane Genie? Gene? That, yeah. or, or, or one of the hurricanes, they boomerangs yeah. all the way towards the north. And then it east, went around back, yeah. And then it came yeah. back towards the west. Yeah. So um, we're hoping that this doesn't happen with this monster that's yeah. uh, being created yeah. out there. Yeah, yeah. So where are you guys got, if you got already got plans, uh, a place to stay over in the west coast? Or? No, no, we're, we're just. You're freelancing this. Yes, <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we are. We, uh, a lot of our friends, you know, they have family members out there. Um, some of our friends already booked hotels yeah. out there, so. You had mentioned that, um, you know, a lot of your friends left for the last, for Irma, Correct. and you guys stayed, right? Correct. But have you seen a lot of your friends already leave for this one? Yeah, quite a few, quite a few left, but remarkably, more, more have decided to stay. Really? And they're hunkered down. Basically, I've I've helped quite a few install panels on their uh, homes and got my neighborhood all secured and everything. And a lot of them decided to stay, but there's some that still have their reservations on the fence. Right. Nature's protection against hurricanes are these dunes. These are sea grapes, and over here you've got the sea oats, and that will help to stop erosion. But with Dorian is still expected to be some significant beach erosion all along the Florida coast. I'm John Zarella for My Radar in Cocoa Beach, Florida. Continuing hurricane coverage on My Radar.